the probability and random variable. This is the name of the course. The lesson today is about the probabilities of the variance and the expected value. If we look to this formula, variance of x plus b equal variance of x because b is a free root and it's constant while the expected value of x plus b b is a constant this equal expected value of x plus b or expected value of p the expected value of p is equal b while the variance of b equal zero because b is a free root and it's constant then the free root and its p constant the variance of it equals zero while the expected value of it equal b if we have this formula variance of p x this one b also here constant but it's not free root then we take p out of the brackets with squared then variance of b x equal b squared multiplied by variance of x as we said b here is a constant while expected of p x b also here is constant we take b outside as it is multiply by expected of x if we have y x is a function then the variance of a y x plus b that is equal where y x is a function a is a constant and b is a constant but b is a free root then as we said before variance of the free root constant equals zero then this formula become a squared multiplied by variance of y x but as we see expected value of a y x plus b equal a expected value of the function y x plus expected value for b as we said expected value for the free root and constant will be the same value then it will become this formula as a multiplied by expected value of y x plus b if we have x1 x2 so and so xn are independent random variables then the variance of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus plus xn equal variance of x1 plus variance of x2 plus variance of x3 plus plus variance of xn as well for the expected value if we have expected value of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus plus xn that equal 
expected value for each of the random variables then it will become expected value of x1 plus expected value of x2 plus expected value of x3 plus plus expected value of xn variance of x multiplied by y variance of x y this equal variance of x multiplied by variance of y and the expected value also expected value of x y equal expected value of x multiplied by expected value of y now we will take some examples about the probabilities the probabilities of the expected value and the variance if we have y x equal 3 x and z equal 2 y find the variance and expected value of z if you know that variance of x equal 4 and expected value of x equal 3 solution variance of z equal variance of 2y this equal because y equal 3 say x then variance of 2 multiplied by 3x which equal variance of 6x we take out the constant 6 out of the variance with squared then it will be 36 variance of x we know that variance of x from the input equal 4 then variance of x will equal 36 multiplied by 4 which is equal 144 if we need to find the standard deviation the standard deviation is the square root of the variance then the square root of this equation will be 12 the square root of 144 the expected value of z equal expected value of 2y and y equal 3x then we need expected value of 6x we take 6 as a constant out of the expected value as it is then it will be 6 multiplied by expected value of x which is equal 6 multiplied by 3 which is equal 18 then the expected value of z equal 18 let's see other example if z equal 2y plus 2x plus 2 variance of y equal 3 variance of x equal 4 expected value of y equal 5 and expected value of x equal 6 find the variance of z and the expected value of z if x and y are independent solution variance of z equal variance of 2y plus variance of 2x plus variance of 2 variance of z then equal we take the 2 out of the variance with a squared then it will equal 4 multiplied by variance of y plus 4 multiplied by variance of x plus 0 because variance of 2 as constant will be equal 0 then variance of z will equal 4 multiplied by 3 plus 4 multiplied by 4 which is equal 28 the expected value of z will equal expected value of 2y plus expected value of 2x plus expected value of 2 that's equal we take the 2 out of the expected of y as it is then it will equal 2 expected value of y plus 2 expected value of x plus expected value of 2 we know that the expected value of y equal 5 the expected value of x equal 6 and expected value of 2 will be as it is 2 then it will be the expected value of z will be 2 multiplied by 5 plus 2 multiplied by 6 plus 2 which is equal 24